which batteries last longer? Randomly selected sample of 92 DuraLife AA batteries had an average lifespan of 4 point, well, 46.2 hours with a standard deviation of 2.67 hours. A randomly selected sample of 91 Energy AA batteries had an average lifespan of 42.9 hours with a standard deviation of 3.17 hours. Use a 5% significance level to test the claim that the DuraLife batteries last longer on average. So right here, this last sentence tells us that we need to test the claim, right? Use a 5% significance level to test the claim that the DuraLife batteries last longer on average. So it's a hypothesis test. Let's set up the claim HO and HA. All right, for the claim, we're saying DuraLife batteries last longer, right? So we're going to say the mean lifetime for the DuraLife batteries is greater than the mean lifetime for the energy batteries. Okay, so that's our claim. Now from there, we want to express HOHA. To do HO, we're looking at the idea that if this guy has a greater than symbol, it's going to be the alternative hypothesis. So HO would be the opposite claim, right? So it would be less than or equal to the mean for the energy group of batteries, right? Then we have HA, and it'll be the mean for the door life is greater than the mean for the energy battery group, right? And then finally from there, once we have the claim HOHA, we're going to collect the data, right? So we should have a set of data for the DuraLife batteries, a set of data for the Energizer batteries, or energy batteries, sorry. So for DuraLife, we have the mean being 46.2. We had the standard deviation of 2.67. And we had that N is equal to 92. And for the ener energy batteries, we have X bar which is 42.9, we have standard deviation of 3.17. And then finally, we have an N of 91. Okay, and then lastly, let's just write down that alpha is 5%. Now, once you have that information, you wanna take that and plug it into a test statistic formula. The fact that the sample sizes are both large, 92 and 91, we can go ahead and use the Z formula for the test stat. So Z will be equal to X bar for DuraLife minus the X bar for the energy battery divided by the square root of, and then we're going to do sigma for DuraLife squared over its N value plus sigma for the energy battery squared over its N value. All right, so there's our formula. Now let's plug in the information to complete our formula. So we'll have for the X bar D, we're going to have 46.2 minus 42.9 over the square root of, the standard deviation is 2.67, remember we're using the sample value to replace the population value, then we need to square that and divide by 92 plus 3.17 squared divided by 91. All right, now that gives us our answer. We just have to work that out with our calculator. All right, so let's pull out our calculator, figure out what that turns out to be. All right, so I'm going to put the top part in parentheses. That's going to be 46.2 minus 42.9. Close that top parentheses. Then I'll hit divide by square root of 2.67 squared divided by 92 plus 3.17 squared divided by 91. Close it up at the end, hit enter, and we get the answer 7.61, 7.61. So this is quite a test stat. It's a very large test stat, and at this point, we pretty much can uh, assume that the critical value will be smaller than this value, so we'll end up rejecting um, the null hypothesis. But to make sure, we're going to get the critical value next. So to look at the critical value, let's draw a bell curve. And we're going to look at HA and realize it's a right tail test. That's a greater than symbol, so it's a right tail test. We're looking at this piece here. We need to find the critical value that separates the rejection region from the do not reject region. So let's go ahead and look up on our Z chart the information required to find the critical value. That information we have to look up is actually our alpha, and it's all going to be in one tail. So we're going to look up 0.05 in one tail 
on our z-chart and see what we get. Now, actually, 0.05 and 1 tail can be found on the t-table at the bottom, where it has the large z-values at the bottom. So we can go ahead and uh, look up this 0.05 on that t-table and look it up, you know, as t.05, all the way down to the bottom and actually keep the z-scores, and then we'll find the appropriate critical value. So let's go to the t-table now and look that up. Okay, so we're looking at 0.05 and one tail, and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until we get to the value 1.645. 1.645. Okay, so we get the value 1.645 from our t table, and then at that point we know that's the critical value. So we're going to be looking to see if our test stat next, 7.61, lands in the rejection region. And of course, you can see that 7.61 is way over here on the curve somewhere, right? So we're clearly in the reject HO position, right? Reject HO. Okay, so our initial conclusion is to reject HO, and that means we should support HA. Now let's go back to our claim and say, which one is it? Is our claim HO or is it HA? When you look at the claim, you can see that the claim is HA, so we're gonna say that we support the claim. So the sample data support the claim. The sample data support the claim. Dot dot dot. Right? The claim that, of course, Dora Life batteries outlast the energy batteries.